Good morning and welcome everyone to a new episode of the Wildcat Way Show. I am Carrie Eve Valance. And I'm Kendale Lumpkins. Welcome to the newly dropped episode of the Wildcat Way Show, a show in which we hope encourages and inspires all who are watching on our YouTube and or listening on our podcast. Now the Wildcat Way Show drops a new episode every Tuesday morning at 10 p.m. on our YouTube channel. It's also available on anywhere you can listen to podcasts. That's iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Amazon Music. We are going to be discussing current events and topics which impact us and our communities and how we're intentionally staying positive through every aspect of our lives. Today we're going to start another one of these two episode series that we're getting into. I think it's really cool. We're trying to like piggyback off of each other. Um, the first part uh, for this week's show is going to be talking about different insecurities, right? And I feel mm -hmm. like everyone at some point in their lives deals with feeling the feeling of being insecure whether it comes from a past trauma your childhood how your parents raised you who you surrounded yourself with in your past you know feelings of just self-doubt i think that's something that everyone can really you know have compassion for and relate to yeah and so care i think too the biggest thing like you said everyone has it but i don't think people admit it Sure. Yeah. Right. So I think the only way you can address something is if you admit that it's there. Mm -hmm. Right. And this may seem simple. This may seem small. But like before, I, whenever I knew I was going bald, uh -huh. yeah. like I was insecure about that. Right. Now, this is something simple, mm -hmm. but you would be amazed at how many guys don't want to lose their hair. Oh, absolutely. So I was struggling with this because I saw my hair. I saw myself losing my hair at 25 years old, right. but right. I did not want to do that i did not so i was insecure about it mm -hmm. and so the only way i overcame it is like one day i'm offshore and i tell my tell my wife which was my my girlfriend at the time and mm -hmm. i told her i said look i'm about to cut this off my head mm -hmm. and she was like no you're not was she supportive so she was supportive of it yeah but i was the one with the issue mm -hmm. she was like i'm gonna love you anyway right but me insecurity which sure. means it's self-esteem things that i need to fix about myself nobody else can fix this for me right so one day i go home and i'm talking about just cold turkey mm -hmm. i cut it off mm -hmm. and the crazy thing about it i liked it yeah like I'm, I felt better about how I look. And right. it only came whenever I said, Kendall, you, I looked myself in the mirror sure. and I said, I love me. Absolutely. I love who I am. I love who God created me to be. Mm -hmm. And I was okay with it from that day. And I think that when we talk about feeling insecure, of course, the first thing that comes to your mind is the physical aspect of right, yourself, right? right? right your right. outward appearance. Yep, that yep. is what, I mean, it just happens as a child. You're not even really purposely thinking about it, but you know, I tell my son, you're so cute. I love that outfit. You look so cute today. You know, yeah. you just talk that way and you're not realizing that you're kind of building that mantra in mm -hmm. children's minds. And it can be a positive and affirmation information type thing that they enjoy and that makes them feel better but you grow up having that stigma right of like what looks good what makes you feel good and a yeah. lot of times people harness how they feel and how they look on the outside to make their inner self feel better yeah and I think so while those things can be good I think that's not enough to get us from where we need to be absolutely right because insecurities go real deep mm -hmm. you could have people that are pretty Right. You can have people that are rich Absolutely. and still feel insecure about themselves. Sure. Right? And so for me, I think the first place, like I said, I admitted mm -hmm. where I was. I admitted that I had that feeling. And then right. second, you got to know who you are. Right. Because what happens, I, I could just tell you, like, we've had these conversations before, but a lot of my early mistakes, mm -hmm. early hanging with the wrong crowd, early right. being around people that I probably shouldn't have been around, doing things I probably right. shouldn't have done, is because I was insecure with the real me. Absolutely. Right? So I knew that I was different early on. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want people to say, oh, well, they pick at you and they talk about you, or he think he's, he talks too much, or he Absolutely. says this, or he says that. So you hide that, and mm -hmm. all you do is try to fit in right. with the crowd that don't do those things. Absolutely. So for me, it was just about knowing who I am and then becoming comfortable with that person to deal with my insecurities. So you're saying you felt critical by yourself oh, yeah. in your past and not even, there wouldn't even always be that outward people were criticizing you, but you felt that internally. Right. So you have to come to a realization and forgive your past, right? That's and embrace it. It. actually who you are. And to get over that feeling of insecurity is just you looking at yourself in the mirror and saying, I am who I am, and I'm going to be my the best version of myself, Kendall Lumpkins, and keep moving forward. And then I'm going to tell you another thing, Carrie, um, and I, I know young people struggle with this. They just don't know how to put their hand on it. They don't know how to call it. Uh, it's, it's A lot of people compare themselves to other people. Oh, absolutely. Right? So, so this is what I realized. And uh, my son, so he's six, and he was premature, so... 
you know, he always talks to me about his size. Right. Right, because he's a small six-year-old is what they say. Okay. And I always say, hey, man, you're six. You're mm -hmm. yourself. Right. I don't care what other people are. Mm -hmm. You are who you are. Mm -hmm. And I teach him that early because when you look at other people, right. you'll think something is wrong with you if Absolutely. you don't measure up to them. Absolutely. And I think that's where a lot of insecurity is built. If you don't look like this, you don't have this, you don't say, you don't talk like that, mm -hmm. and you may not live in a certain area or have certain things right. growing up, right. you can become insecure with yourself because you think you're supposed to be like them. Right. And I don't believe that anymore because I don't care what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. I know that I don't have to compare myself to other people to feel valuable. So a lot of our insecurities are driven from comparisons too. Absolutely. Especially in this day of age where the internet and social media oh, yeah, is so without prevalent. A doubt. I mean, us growing up, you know, we had like magazines that we would look at, yeah. but that wasn't such an in your face type of thing to where you were constantly comparing. Now, you know, children as, as young as like nine or 10 are oh, on Instagram man. with the filters. And I'm like, baby, your skin is already smooth. You don't exactly. need to use a exactly. filter like exactly. that. You know, your eyes are already bright. Like just embrace yourself. And now I feel like it's so, it's so important for young people to really take a step back and look at the true meaning of what makes a person great right of course you want to represent yourself to the best of your abilities on your outside and always come from you know a position of professionalism of loving mm -hmm. but it's all really what's on the inside that matters because yeah. you can be pretty on the outside and have oh, a very man. ugly oh, inside man. Oh, man. and that's the only thing that people are going to realize and, and so carrie while we're not trying to take shots we're not mm -hmm. knocking anybody right but like instagram mm -hmm. social media like we have to really, really be careful mm -hmm. because all we're showing are highlights. Absolutely. Right, yeah. and this is why social media can be so dangerous mm -hmm. because you could look at somebody's marriage, you could look at somebody's life and think, oh, my life is messed up. Right. Because their lives look better. Right. But all you're seeing is that happy moment. Absolutely. All you're seeing is in that moment whenever the child was good on their best behavior. Absolutely. Right, and they wouldn't cry and you didn't have to fall. Right. And so that's why I'm so I'm so particular, like I'm really, really particular about social media and how I use it because mm -hmm. if I'm not careful, mm -hmm. I can start saying, well, I don't have this, so my life is right, not right. what it should be. Right. And then you start feeling insecure about what you do have. And I mean, I feel like there's something to say about having aspirations, right? Mm -hmm. And about having wanting to live your life a certain way or even trying to kind of, you know, um, have goals and dreams that might be a little too far-fetched in the moment, but say maybe 10, 15 years down the line, yeah, I could without a get doubt. that. I, without could, a doubt. I could set my kids up for something like that. My wife and I could go on mm -hmm. this amazing vacation. But I mean, that doesn't mean it has to happen right now. Exactly. Right when we're starting a brand new show and trying to actually reach people. You know, like we want things in life and everybody does. And it's okay to have these aspirational goals. But then don't be discouraged and start feeling negative about yourself just because the Joneses have it, but you don't have it right in this yeah, second. and uh, Dave Ramsey, one of the guys that I listen to all the time, he says, stop trying to keep up with the Joneses mm -hmm. because the Joneses are broke. <laughs> in right? some way, yeah, and, yeah they are. Was, yeah. And, and so, so money right. and material things mm -hmm. does not cure insecurity. Absolutely. But we think it does, right? So we, we buy stuff and we get this and we get that, and then you still feel empty because you hadn't dealt with the real self. You hadn't 100%. dealt with the real you. Right. And so for me, when I think about life in that perspective, I'm always wondering like, well, what's the answer? Like, what's the cure for it? Because social media promotes it. Social mm -hmm. media pushes it. If you don't have this, you don't wear that, you don't look like this. And I'm always like, no, man, I want my kids to be totally different. Right. I don't want them to be like that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And it is a fine balance, right? Because there are things that can make you happy but it's only for you know a certain oh, amount of man. time. Like I'm it's just you. that instant gratification to where you're like, yes, I got this. It's just like a child with a toy at Christmas. You know, like we've talked about Christmas presents man. and how your wife and I do. I like to do it big. My husband's the same way. He's like, <laughs> you be in charge of Christmas because I can't even deal. I have a. It's October and I have my Christmas lists already. Already? Going on. Oh, wow. I've, I've already bought a lot of presents. Yeah, wow. I'm all about ahead of time planning. So. I make sure to make Christmas a great big deal for everyone in my family. My yeah. kids, my niece, my nephews, my little sister. I like to go above and beyond, but I also know that it's just that momentary happiness, right? They are just as happy two weeks later when I bring I'm out a toy you, from I'm three years you, ago. I'm like, oh, I found, I found your stuffy. You haven't seen him, it's and, been under your bed, and they're just as excited. And Carrie, this is what got me. My kids play with boxes. Oh my gosh, I know. Isn't that crazy? And, and so, toilet paper oh rolls. Oh my and God. <laughs> and so, so while I think those are good things, Carrie, right. I think it's great that you teach them right. 
about self-worth though. Exactly. Right, because, because like I struggle with this whenever I have conversations with people that talk about how much money they make. Mm -hmm. Talk about the house they live in. Mm -hmm. And I like those things. It's good to have nice things. Right. It's just a challenge when those nice things have you. Exactly. And then so now what happens is you're thinking your happiness and your self-worth are tied into this stuff mm -hmm. and it's never ending. Right. So that's why people need to really deal with their insecurities mm -hmm. because when you don't know who you are and you're not happy with the real you, like Carrie, I really enjoy my own company. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I could sit at home and right. not have nobody around and I'm good right. because I enjoy my own company. And I mm -hmm. think we mentioned this on other shows absolutely. before when we talk about it's easy for me to get along with myself so it makes it that much easier for me to get along with you right. and other people because I am secure with me now. Absolutely. So I can walk in a room and I don't have to be like you, you don't have to be like me, I don't have to be like other people. People mm -hmm. in order for me to feel satisfied with what's on the inside of me. Right. And I think that that can stem from any type of things, right? Because you had to actually do the work oh, yes, in indeed. and of yourself. You had to realize within, okay, I am going to be this type of person from now on and I'm going to strive to always make the best choice that I can from this point forward and to feel as comfortable with myself to make others feel comfortable with me as well. So Carrie, and so you mentioned doing the work. Mm -hmm. Right. So doing the work is challenging. Mm -hmm. Right. And I wish it was money. Right. I wish it was that easy. Like that would be way easier if, if gifts and if money oh, defined you, that would be a much easier life. If that I could no go internal happiness, if I could go buy a car mm -hmm. and feel better. Right. Like for the rest of my life. Right. Oh, my God. I would go get the I would go buy a car right now and get in debt. Right. <laughs> Just to fi but that's not the answer. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That don't fix it. And I realized that it don't fix it. Right. Are you ready to join the fastest growing community college in Mississippi? Pearl River Community College is ready for you. With improvements at each of our four locations in Poplarville, Hattiesburg, Waveland, and online, securing your future has never been more exciting. 42 career and technical programs and academic transfer options allow you to build a bright future at the river. When faced with adversity, Wildcats never quit. Visit prcc.edu to learn more. So I said this years ago, it's not about the car you're driving, it's about what's driving you. Mm -hmm. And many people miss that. Mm -hmm. Like, what are what are your values? Right. What are your priorities? What do you define success as? Absolutely. Not what the world says, mm -hmm. because the world it's a moving target for the world. Absolutely. One day they say you got to have this degree, you got to have this certification, mm -hmm. you got to have this kind of job, and then the next month it changes. Oh, well, that's no longer popular. That's no right. longer relevant. So, but that's too much of a moving target. That's too much of a roller coaster mm -hmm. for me to put my identity and my self worth into that. Well, because you're not seeking others' approval, that's right? It. That's and it. That's, that's it. That's one of the big biggest challenges when it comes to feeling secure and dealing with your own insecurity, mm -hmm. you have to realize that you don't need anyone else's approval but your own. That's right? it. That's you it. need to approve of yourself and approve, approve of your way of life and then you will get you that sense of security that you need. And, and Carrie, I, I also think you take it a step further, right? So I have friends, mm -hmm. while I don't have to prove anything to them, they hold me accountable though. Sure. Right? So there are some people, and this is what I think young people struggle with the most, is that they're seeking the approval from the wrong people, mm -hmm. which makes them act in a certain way. Absolutely. Right? So yeah. when you're seeking approval from that crowd that not going anywhere or not doing what you want to be or do in the future, then it's like, okay, well, I'm going to do everything that they like. Mm -hmm. So that's why you see people post stuff on social media that right. go against their real morals and their values right. and th because it gets popularity, it gets mm -hmm. them noticed, mm -hmm. but you really deep down don't feel like this, Absolutely. but it getting you recognition that feeds something in you that makes you feel better about yourself. But it also feeds your insecurity. That's it. Isn't that right? That's because if it. you know morally in your internal character and your constitution of yourself that that really doesn't fit into your way of life, right, you're right. doing it anyway, that's just feeding the demon, right? That's it. Feeding into your insecurity. That's it. And so whenever you get to that place in that cycle, mm -hmm. You're the only one that could break that. Right. So you looking in the mirror and saying, you know what? I've been struggling with my hair now. I don't like it. I'm going to make the decision. And your wife being like, baby, I love you no matter what. But go ahead if you want to. And you just did it. And then that just... An outward thing, it could be as simple as that. I know for a man, it's not that simple. I mean, my husband's bald. I think bald is beautiful. Yeah. But thank you, have you to, thank you're you, welcome. Thank but you have to come to that realization as a man, like, I can do this. I mean, if Michael Jordan can do it, I feel like a lot of people and, can do and it. And Carrie, when I tell you, so I see people struggle with their hair all the time. Mm -hmm. And that's one place that I don't talk about. Mm -hmm. like, like, I see people joke about it. 
I see people say things about it, but like I didn't know how hard. So the reason why is Carrie, I had never been bald before. Right. Yeah. So I'm getting ready to embark on a journey mm -hmm. that I've never been on. Right. But when I did it, it wasn't about the bald. It was about me saying. I love me enough right. to be comfortable with this, right. regardless of what the world thinks. Well, like what my husband said, Jonah, when it was he started noting a little re recession, and he was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. Yep. I'm not gonna wait for it to gradually yep. come out. I'm gonna take the clippers, yep. shave my head, and this is who I am now. And yep. he's embraced it ever since. And I think that that shows a lot of empowerment, right? Like you were feeling insecure about something, and you decided to make a decision. I won't let it be taken away from me. I'm gonna do it the way I want to do it. And a lot of times, Carrie, whenever you go ahead and make that jump, mm -hmm. it's it's better off than you thought it would be. Sure, you right? have it, the power, it, right? It's, it, and, and we we make it that much worse because we, instead of us thinking about what's the best that can happen, mm -hmm. we always result to what's the worst that can happen. Well, that's just a part of being insecure too because you're second guessing yourself, mm -hmm. right? You're worried about what other people will think, right? You're questioning yeah. your decision making if you're even able to make any sort of decision like that. Even if you feel yourself, you know, as young adults, and surrounded by people that you know might not be going along the same path as you are, mm -hmm. it's up to you to recognize within yourself that you need to be the one to make the change and to deviate the other direction. Yeah, and, and, and Carrie, I think that's, that's profound um, because many people are struggling. Mm -hmm. Many people are living with their insecurities mm -hmm. and not getting out. Right, right. And so what happens is they start to medicate. Oh, yeah. They start to push to things that really not helping them, but in the moment, mm -hmm. it helps them feel better. Absolutely. Feeding the insecurity. Absolutely. And so that's why I think when you deal with, see, if you don't deal with this first, mm -hmm. which probably, if you think about it, could have been our first show. Right. <laughs> Seriously. Right. To start the journey. Right. Because the reality is, Carrie, we had some insecurities about starting this. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. Because when you look at the grand scale and you and I struggle with this both and we talked about it before about wanting it to be all the way done. Right. From the start. Mm hmm. And that's right. not real. No. Right. So the insecurities about messing up, the insecurities mm -hmm. about not having it done right, right. from the start. Even about putting in work, like sometimes you get insecure, like, am I going to do this the right way? Is this going to reach my target audience? Are people going to enjoy it? Are people going right, to like right, us? Right. Can we make a connection? Are we helping anyone? That's yep. something that I question all the time. And it, I can tell you, everyone listening and watching, like, it only makes us want to do more when you give us feedback. Right. And, and us let us know it's working. Yeah. Because right. we want to do whatever we can to make those connections, you know? And, and, and then I think when you think about us starting this show and just being transparent about where we started and where we are now, we've mm -hmm. only been a couple months into this mm -hmm. and um, we're doing the work mm -hmm. in spite of how we feel. Sure. Yeah. We're and so when it comes to your insecurities, right. you have to go do it even if it don't feel right right now. Absolutely. Because over time, as you go, you'll start to feel more secure. Well, exactly right, because I find myself feeling insecure, like going into a room full of people, right? Mm -hmm. like we have lots of meetings here at the college and there's different, some administrators, some different people from different colleges. And I'm always in my head like, okay, just walk to the table, <laughs> yeah, introduce yeah, yeah, yourself, yeah, like yeah, talking yeah. myself through it yeah. and make, trying to come off like I'm not insecure, but everybody's insecure to a certain extent. We all right? have them. We get nervous, we yeah. get a little unsure. We might mangle up our words a little bit, but I feel so much more self-confident after when I push through. That's it. And I That's make it. myself do it and I get through that experience and then I can look and reflect on it and say, you did it, girl. Yeah, because so and then so this is my fitness journey. Mm -hmm. So years ago, I started working out in the gym and the gym I work out at is a gym where they do a lot of competitions. OK, mm -hmm. so these people are really, really fit. Mm -hmm. They're fit to a point where I never see myself being. OK. And so you go in that gym. And this is Kendall's start. Right, right. But I can't do four pull-ups in a row. Okay. So I see guys in there and even women in there and they're like, oh, that ain't nothing, I'm crushing this out. 
But my trainer told me, mm -hmm. Kendall, this is your journey. Sure. So even when it comes to your health. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Right? So I'm talking to men and women now. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you have to start where other people are finishing. Right. And what we do, we compare our lives to where people are in 20 years. Oh, right. Just like when we started this show. Right. It's so easy for us to say, well, you know what? I like that podcast. They got over a million followers on right. it. Right, right. But we just started. They've been doing that for 30 years. I know, I know. 20 it, years it, in the game talking and speaking right. and doing different things. So. On, whenever I worked out, Carrie, and I'm talking about overtime, I got better. I faced right. those challenges. I faced going in that gym. I had to deal with that every day. Yeah. I would go in there like, man, I'm not fit, but I'm working around people right. that are. And I stopped comparing myself to them, and I started being inspired by exactly. them. Exactly, yes. And not let where they were make me intimidated mm -hmm. because I understood I'm on my right. own journey, on my oh, own time, absolutely. doing it my own way. Mm -hmm. And that's what was the game changer. I mean, me. I think that that's what completely flips the script, right? When instead of you getting into your own head and letting the insecurities get the best of you, yep. because that's what's gonna lead to failure, yep. right? If yep. you let the insecurities and your self-doubt and questioning your own self-worth get into your head, then you're gonna quit. But if you flip that and make it your motivation, right? And you flip that and make it your inspiration to continue on, to go to the gym every day at 5.30 and then be there with your trainer and your workout crew. Then years later, you he you're here now and you look forward to it and you enjoy that time together. And Carrie, it was a game changer. Mm -hmm. And this is the hard work that we talk about, mm -hmm. right? Right. Because I can remember going and speaking in front of crowds at USM and it's 3,000 freshmen there. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, like, afraid, right. when I tell you nervous, mm -hmm. insecure about if I say the right, am I going to do it right? Right. And I was like, I started to realize, man, you're here for a reason. Absolutely. You are good enough. Right, right. You do have enough. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you start telling yourself that, you start believing it. Right. Everything you tell yourself, you eventually believe. Oh, if you sure. tell yourself a lie long enough, you'll believe that lie. If you tell yourself good stuff about yourself Absolutely. long enough, you'll believe it. And so over time, I used to go to the gym. Whenever I go speak, I can do this. Mm -hmm. Right. I will do this. Mm -hmm. I am good enough for this. They call me for a reason. Absolutely. I am here. I am the right person for the job. And I think that's what helps like so when young people are listening when young people are seeing us like don't think that we got it all figured out we're just trying to encourage other people right. to realize hey if we did it you could do it too because we're human beings there's nothing right. so significant or special about us we're just using the gifts the talents that we were blessed with to help inspire the world and other people need to take that same approach to realize hey man uh, you can overcome your insecurities because there's no magic pill. It's just a lot of hard work that you got to do. Right, and the work comes from imposing a mantra, right? That's it, that's it. Affirmations of self-worth, right? Telling yourself that you can do it and that you are worth it. And I think something that I do constantly, which really helps me, you're gonna feel better once you do it. Yeah. Whether that is working out in the evening, whether that is like meal prepping, whether that is going and speaking in front of people here at the college or going out to meet new people in the community, a lot of times those doubts come in and you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm not really feeling good today, I'm not feeling myself, but you know what? I'll feel better after I do it. And you always do, you always wind up feeling that joy and that sense of self-worth afterwards if you just take the steps to do it. And Carrie, that's why I always challenge young people mm -hmm. to do the things that are the most uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Face your insecurities. Because your insecurities can make you comfortable mm -hmm. and make you stay stuck. Right. And then 20 years down the line, you realize I could have did that, mm -hmm. but I was letting my own self stop me. So I would encourage anybody to just get out of your own way. Absolutely. And yeah, it's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some anxiety. There's going to be some fear there. Right. But you have to face that stuff in order to get to the next level in your life. Mm -hmm. Just like we talked about me going back to school. Carrie, I was afraid of that. Right, right. I was insecure about it because Man, I don't think I could do this. Mm -hmm. But once I finished, oh man, it was a sense of relief like I've never felt. Right. Because I actually did something that I was afraid to do. Mm -hmm. And I challenged myself, I don't care how hard this gets, don't you quit. Right, absolutely. And so now, when I realized, I'm like, man, you could have did this years ago. Mm -hmm. But you had been running from it, but I had to build up enough courage. So I'm not saying, I did it when I was supposed to do it. Right. I finished when I was supposed to finish. And my journey is the journey that I took. I'm just saying that to say, when you talk about going in rooms of people that, and you got to sit down and you got to introduce yourself, mm -hmm. to believe it or not, those same people, 
that you feel insecure about sitting down right. and introducing, right. they feel the same thing I you mean, feel. I know that. And I have <laughs> yeah. to, it's taken me a long time to get that through my own head. Like, there aren't that many people who just go around. I mean, there are some of those people that think that they are everything in the world. Oh, yeah, they don't yeah, feel yeah, any yeah, sense yeah, of insecurity. Yeah. But not a lot of people here at PRCC feel like that. We're an all-encompassing, great community. So I feel like we just have to get into our mindset of it's up to you to make the decision to start this, and especially the young people. If you are feeling insecure, you need to do the work within yourself oh, yeah, in order to take the first step to start the rest of your life. Yeah, because Carrie, I'm gonna tell you, and I think we may need to probably add on to this show at some point down the road, right? Because uh, there's so much more we could talk about mm -hmm. because insecurity don't just show up in shyness or reservation. No, absolutely Insecurity not. could show up in bravado. Oh, absolutely. Insecurity could show up in arrogance. Good point, in yes. Insecurity could show up in you self-promoting and mm -hmm. trying to be self-seeking and wanting other people to see you all the time. Right. Like, that's what insecurity could be, too. Absolutely. Like, you want to be out front, but there's something that you're hiding, 100%. right? Because humility is strength. Sure. And security is weakness. Well, there you go. That's a whole other show topic. Right. And so, do, yeah. and so when you think about that, I had to learn it. So whenever I see people and I see how they move mm -hmm. and I'm, I guess I'm observant. Right. And I just don't say anything, but I know insecurity because I used to be insecure. Right. About other areas of my life that they show that it looks like they're happy. They look like, no, but I know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. I know there's a root to that. Mm -hmm. Why you're doing it? Because that used to be me. Right. So whenever I see young people, I just give them time to develop, give them time to grow before they're ready to have a conversation. Right. But I know what insecurity looks like and it don't all look the same. No, there's a whole range of differences, right? And you can, it is easy to tell sometimes you can just pick them out, you know, from a football field. Oh yeah, say, without okay, a doubt. You're doing a little too much. To try to overcompensate for something something else which sometimes though you know that phrase fake it till you make it yes sometimes indeed. you have to be that positive person that you can so you can start feeling it internally right so there yeah. are so many different realms of this and we can right. peel back this onion but i think for now this is a good stopping point so that way we can yeah, yeah. wrap this up but um Next week, we are going to discuss the flip side of this, and that's building your own self-confidence. Um, we're going to let go of the insecurities that can weight you down. That episode will be next Tuesday at 10 a.m. It'll be on our YouTube channel, The Wildcat Way Show, and on anywhere that you listen to podcasts. That's on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Amazon Music. Um, you can listen to all your favorite podcasts and put us in those rotations and like and subscribe and leave a five-star review. And we will be right back here next week to talk about building your own self-confidence. Thanks so much.